Welcome back. Happening today, it is World Health Day, and studies find that our spines show the signs of, of aging as early as in our 20s, and that uh, continues to decline as we get older. So joining us this morning is Dr. Depesh Shah with tips that we can work into our everyday lives while promoting our spine health. How you doing, Dr. Shaw? I'm doing great. Happy to be here. Good morning. Yeah, well, thanks so much for being with us. I feel like I'm constantly doing this, just slouching. So what can I do to just kind of just better improve posture? Yeah, so the most important thing in terms of posture is to make sure that we walk with our our shoulders back as much as possible that will help decrease the rate of our forward flexion as we age with our spine okay so talk to me about just spine health in general yeah so it's important to have good spine health as we age as we know today is world spine day and that stresses the importance of keeping spinal health as we age there are four tips that I have that will be really beneficial for patients to maintain good spine health over time. The first tip is actually to make sure that we keep a really strong core. The core muscles are our abdominal muscles and that helps take the load off of our spine as we age. The second tip is exactly what you had mentioned, to keep good posture as we walk. It's really important for our shoulders to stay back, which keeps our spine in natural alignment. The third tip is actually to make sure when we're lifting anything, whether it's five pounds or 50 pounds, to make sure we bend at the knees and not at the waist. That will distribute the load evenly over the entire body as opposed to just on our spine. And then again, we sleep a third of the time we're alive and we walk a lot as well. So it's really important to make sure we get a new mattress. The firmer mattresses are typically better uh, every five to seven years or so, so that we keep our spine in good alignment as we sleep and get new shoes every six months or so, just so the soles are nice and even uh, regularly as we walk. Oh, this is a good reminder. So new mattress, <laughs> new tennis shoes. You know, around the office, I know a lot of people like to sit on those bouncy balls to kind of just force them to sit up straight. What do you think about that? I think that's a great idea. We work a lot. A lot of people are on computers very regularly. It's important to have good ergonomics, whether it's the chair or workstation. Uh, and the bouncy ball is definitely one example of that. Okay, so you talked about exercising a lot. Uh, guilty when you say walking and slouching, try to stand up straight and then lifting. Go into that a little bit more because it's hard to think about form when you're breaking a sweat. Yeah, it is. And sometimes you need some assistance in that. And sometimes you need the help of chiropractors or physical therapists to actually make sure we see the proper techniques as we do that, because that is important as well. Otherwise, you can't further injure your spine. Yeah, Dr. Shaw. See, so sometimes I use that excuse not to exercise. I'm like, look, look, yeah. I don't want to injure myself any further. <laughs> okay, so we, where, we can all people, do. <laughs> right? where can people find more information about this? So I would recommend if you do have spine related pain, the first thing I would do is to see a pain management specialist. At Redirect Health, we have pain management specialists that can quarterback your care, whether you require imaging or medications or injections. We're able to quarterback that care to get you to the right place. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Shaw, with your good spine health. It is hard to hear that we are aging already when we're in our 20s. Okay, but no, good details there. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy your morning.